plastic here. So today I am starting out with Jempo's face rather than mine because I didn't want to shock you guys with my haircut. Yes, I got a haircut and it turned out to be much shorter than I had expected. So yeah, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for this? Because I'm not even sure if I'm ready for it yet. Ta-da! And here is my hair. So it's much shorter than I had expected. Actually, when the hairdresser cut it at first time, it was like the perfect length that I wanted. But then she trimmed it. And as she was thinning my hair out, she trimmed it a little more and a little more and a little more. And it got to this length. Which I don't mind that much because I'm not someone that stresses over hair that much. But I think it will actually play in my own favor when I wear my wig for BronyCon. So yeah, I guess that's okay. Yeah, I, I think I'm okay with this. You might have also noticed noticed that the camera quality is a little different it's because i am borrowing this point and shoot camera from my sister i will be taking this camera to BronyCon. i'm borrowing it from her so i kind of wanted to get used to using it for today's toy hunt i don't think i'm going to be looking for much dolls because just like last week i don't really want to buy dolls because i have other dolls that i want to review before buying any more dolls i actually purchased invisibly and dexter from online so hopefully they'll be coming in within a couple of days so i won't won't be really purchasing dolls today but i do want to still look around to see if they got any more new lps any new ponies and also i really 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 want to get the funko disney blind bags um the mystery minis the girls at hot topic called me because they know that i collect those stuff they called me and told me that they have a new case in i usually go to target but today i am going to start by going to savers which is my thrift store so i'll talk to you guys when i get to savers so i already looked through the whole um toy aisle and i didn't really see anything i don't know they're stocked up don't get me wrong they have a lot of toys here but nothing that i'm really interested in which is a bummer because they have all these toys see but nothing really that grabs my attention okay so i just came out from savers and in savers i didn't really find anything they did have a lot of toys don't get me wrong but nothing that i was really interested in getting and collecting it actually started to rain now and you're probably going to see my hair getting poofier throughout the toy hunt so i'll talk to you guys when i get to target okay so now i'm in the monster high section and as you can see they're a bit empty um I don't think they have restocked recently because looking at the amount of dolls that they have today, they don't really have that much. Or at least in this section right here. And also, Ever After High dolls too, they don't have that much. As you can see, this My Little Pony section is quite empty too. Um, yeah. Hopefully, when I come back next time, they'll be restocked with new stuff. So ever since I got my first American Girl doll, I've been looking at some of these um, outfit sets by Our Generation Girls. And they have some really adorable outfit sets. Um, I don't think it will fit my Marie Gray since she is a historical doll. But once I modernize her, maybe. I probably will go and watch this movie because I really love TMNT. But I am not sure about the graphics, guys. Look at those green lips. Ugh green lips okay so just came back from target and jempo and i are not having much luck today um or at least so far so i usually go to toys r us straight from target but i think i'm going to stop by big lots yeah no not big lots kmart so that maybe i can find a little more stuff there hopefully i can and the my little pony section of my kmart and as you can see they haven't restocked either they got all these um, older, you know, brushable ponies. And they got, you know, the equestrian girls, but they don't have the new ones out yet. Hopefully they'll reach the stores soon because I really want to, you know, get them in stores instead. Because sometimes I find that sometimes um, equestrian girl eye painting is like a little too high or sometimes a little too low. So I want to pick out like the best one. And here we are in the Monster High section. And... I think they have like the older dolls. I don't even think they have the newer hybrids or Creepateria and all those other dolls. Nope, they don't. Nope, they don't even have those other dolls. So yeah, I guess... Yep, they're taking their time with restocking, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so we're going into Toys R Us. I was not able to find anything at Kmart. So I quickly moved to Toys R Us, so we're going in now. Okay, so we are here with the Ever After High dolls and ooh, 
all of the Ever After High Legacy Day dolls are $20, which is only a $5 discount, but you know, it's better than nothing. These are the Legacy Day dolls. Wow, I can't speak Legacy. Wow, no, Legacy Day. I still need to get CA Cupid from coming. You know, I don't really buy these like um, lip glosses, but I really think the packaging of this one is really adorable. Don't you think? Yeah, definitely cute. This lip gloss. No, is it a nail art? Yeah, this one is a nail art set. This one's definitely really cute. Oh, it's a nail pen art. How awesome. And here are the Monster High dolls. Even though I'm getting my Nathan, I, uh, not Nathan, invisibly, I wanna kinda see if he is here. I don't think he is here though, cause I don't actually see any of the new um, Scare Master dolls, so I doubt he is here. Uh, no, those are all Freaky Fusion. Hi, Cleolite. Ooh, Laguna Fire. Rocky Becca, Freaky Fusion. No, no, no. So in case you want your Cleo Denial Vanity, maybe now might be a good time because it used to be $39.99 but it's on brown clearance which means that it's now 70% off of this price. There's only one left in the store. I actually don't collect these playsets so I won't be getting it though. Are you guys into Beatrix girls? Because I think they're really cute and apparently they're on sale for $9.99 until the 26th of July. They only have this one. I actually really like how they look and I think they are really neat dolls but I don't want to start collecting something new because I think it's just going to be too much for me. This is kind of new. I've never seen this before. Um, so this is the Disney on a toddler one and it comes with Olaf. I don't think I'll be getting it though because I already have my Anna. I mean if she came with Elsa then I would consider it but no. The outfit is really cute though. Oh my gosh. What in the world is this awesome adorable display is this a display or is this for sale no i think this is a display oh this is so awesome oh my gosh look how adorable look at all the shopkins lined up together they are super cute wow <laughs> i'm like hoping this is for sale but yeah this is such this is a display definitely a display <laughs> So cute! All of the Shopkins are 20% off until August 9th, but then they only have these two place that's left, which are the ones that I already have, so no Shopkins today, I guess. Wow, but wow, this, this, <laughs> I'm like drooling over this place. I was totally admiring this set of how adorable all these pets are, but look at this box. This box is having a special day. She's feeling derpy. <laughs> How cute and funny. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, there is this wedding castle set. Oh my gosh. Wow, okay. Um, there's only one left. Should I get it? Okay, you know what? I'm going to price check it and if it's cheaper than $39.99, which was the original price, maybe I'll consider it. Uh -huh, guys, I price checked it and it's still $39.99. And I don't have a coupon today. I don't want to spend 40 bucks on a playset with ponies that I already have. I already have these ponies, so I'm ultimately just paying for the playsets and the accessories, and I do not want to pay 40 bucks. That's my problem. Do you guys see my problem? Ugh, no. Okay, you know what? I'm going to make the toughest decision right now and not get this one and hope to find the playset on eBay or something at good price because I just, for me, 40 bucks does not do the justice for this set, especially because I already have these two ponies. Ugh. Ah, there are those green lipstick wearing turtles again. Seriously, what have you done to my lovely turtles? They were awesome as is. Why did you have to make them wear lipstick? I don't get it. I just don't get it guys. Because I'm not having much luck with other stuff, I decided to take a look at Playmobil, which is something that I've been wanting to collect, but because I was so caught up with other stuff, I didn't really get to look at it. But today, I found that they're on buy one, get one 40% off sale, and I'm totally going to take that on because I really wanted this set and I've been wanting to get these fairies too, so I think I'm going to grab a few of them. As far as I can see, they have four kinds of fairy bags, and um, so they have this blue one, they have this pink one, and then this purple one which looks like a rock star fairy can you see yep she looks super cool and also this yellow fairy which reminds me of fluttershy because of the unicorn right there 
So I think I'm definitely going to get these two fairies, the purple one and the yellow one. I think I'm going to wait a little bit for the pink and the blue fairy though. I know a lot of people are going to probably hate me for saying this, but to be completely honest with you guys, I think I like Playmobiles more than Legos. Um, but I think this one is super awesome. It's the Dinos one. And look at this guy. He looks super cool. And look at the dinosaur. They have so many playsets that I'm like totally eyeing on. But I just need to make space for them first because my hobby room is still <laughs> unorganized. Oh, I know. Oh my gosh, look at that one. Oh, that was so cool. I wonder if it actually moves. Alright guys, so I just came out from Toys R Us. Although I could not find any Monster High, Ever After High, or My Little Pony stuff. I was actually able to get something that I've been wanting to get. I've been eyeing on these for like ever. So I got Playmobil fairies. I'm so sorry if I'm like totally out of the frame, but I'm getting used to this camera. So I got this yellow one. I also got the purple one that I completely love. She looks like a rock star and she comes with the purple pony unicorn and also on the way out i found these two my little pony funko blind bag i keep saying blind bag um mystery minis i know they're coming out with series two but i haven't been able to collect any of the series one yet so i was like you know what maybe i should get them before they are unavailable and before you know i start getting series two so i got two more so that i can open them with the ones that veronica has sent me so those are all the things i got from toys r us i was actually thinking about getting that playset um the wedding castle playset but i was like no i really can't justify 40 dollars for the playset because like i said in the video earlier i already have those two ponies i mean i don't have the exact same one but i don't really like having too many duplicates and i already have shining armor and cadence so ultimately i was just buying it for the playset and i could not pay 40 bucks for that playset so i had to pass <sighs> I'm probably going to regret it later, aren't I? Yeah, probably. Now, I'm just going to go to Justice and Hot Topic. Alright guys, so I just came out from the mall. I couldn't film in there because I was just like looking around intensely. I ended up not going to Justice because I made a big purchase at Hot Topic even though I didn't spend as much as the original price. Um, I went in there and they actually saved a whole case of Disney Funko Vinyl, blah, 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 blah. The Vinyl Figure Series 2 Disney Collectible. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak today. Let's try this one more time. So they saved me a whole case of Funko Disney Mystery Blind vinyl collectible series too. Oh, you guys know what I mean, right? Anyway, because of the ratio, I know I'm not going to get the full set from this first case and I don't really intend on buying more than this case. So here is, ooh, so here is the whole box. I really want this Wally, but he's one of the rare ones. Let me just take one box out and show you. So here are the ones you can collect. Obviously, I really want Wally. I really want all of the Lion King ones, but we'll see if I will be that lucky. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to do three parts. I'm going to open four, four, four. So I open 12 in total. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy following my toy hunt today. If you're not one of my wonderful subscribers yet, please feel free to click the subscribe button below to stay updated with my toy videos. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye guys!